Growing up, I realized I had albinism when I was about nine years old. I have four siblings, one who has albinism, and you know, um, I had neighborhood friends who asked my older brother if I was adopted. There were lots of times where I felt um, different, I'm out of place, not welcomed by a lot of people because of the way I look in school, even just on the train, you know, with my mom, being a child, there would be parents, adults, you know, who's, who stared at us and laughed at us because we had albinism and I didn't understand, you know, this is a grown person, why are they pointing fingers at me and, you know, giggling? It made um, me and my younger brother have to grow up or mature faster to understand, you know, people can be ignorant when they don't know things so um, we just had to be strong and know that we're all human just like everyone else. It's not easy with having albinism. There's still a lack of understanding of what albinism is. Even just in the modeling industry, you know, we're looked at as something that's um, maybe extraterrestrial, you know, it's uh, an odd beauty, not just, you know, like a regular beauty, whatever that is. Um, so for me, that's challenging because when I initially started modeling, I just knew I was, I was like, I wanna be a model and I'm gonna be this beautiful model just like the rest of the models out of this world, which that can be fun and entertaining, but I don't think it should be a freak show, you know. I just want to be a beautiful girl like anyone else. You know, they don't really come as challenges to me because I now I can say I'm confident in who I am. I know who I am as a, um, a person with albinism, as just as a woman. You know, so that stuff doesn't bother me anymore. Think in your head. Right. <laughs> right. I would like to change. One of the things that I would like to change is if um, when people think that we are all related, you know, that is for, it might be silly, but it's so ridiculous to me. It's, you know, just because we all may have the same skin color, hair color, or whatever, you know, we are all obviously not related. I think um, it's important for all children with albinism to know that they are beautiful. They're not any different than anyone else. Um, and I think it's also important for parents to instill that in their children as well, to make them feel comfortable in all situations and, you know, and let the people around them know what albinism is, just to inform people on what it is and how it works and that it's not anything, you know, odd or weird so that they can have an easier life. I always wanted to start something like this just because growing up I know that I've would love to have had someone who's older around that had albinism and I could, you know, see how I was going to look when I grew up and, you know, just to motivate me and that would understand some of the things that I was going through and help me through them. So with this group, I would like for us to maybe have some sort of big brother, big sister program to mentor younger children that have albinism for us to help parents that have children with albinism understand more what it is and how it can affect us physically, emotionally. Mm -hmm.